The following is a presentation of TFNN. The morning markets kick off with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Tommy O'Brien. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman here sitting in for Tommy O'Brien. And this is the market kickoff hour. And uh, Tommy's service is Rocket Equities and Options Report. Um, he's out of town. And I'm sitting in today. Uh, very interesting. I just want to show you this pattern. In Chapway Methodology, I have a whole bunch of patterns that I've developed over the years. I'd call them proprietary, but since they've been public for so long, I guess I have to call them public. Um, there's a pattern where if after the left side high at a peak, the fourth highest peak, peak D, E, or F, there's a sudden sharp pullback, and you start a brand new move to the upside that goes from a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode, the implication is that it should go to at least four higher peaks, A, B, C, D. D is the fourth highest peak. But... If in the interim period there's a very sharp move through that previous high in a shorter time period, then if you did a, a bar symmetry with the number of bars on the left side equaling the number of bars on the right side, then what you've got is the potential for a Chapman Wave cup and ladle pattern. It looks just like, you know, how a, a ladle just it continues that right side straight up. Whereas a cup and handle has their little cup uh, handle formation, uh, one that I do not like at all because invariably the price goes up and it goes right back into the handle. This is different. This is a powerful move. And what it does is that when it takes out that left side high, it takes on the new letter, which is A, B, in this case C. And then it says it can pull back, test the lip on the left side, and then probably go to a D. And boom, there we are with D, and we're actually even in an E right now with the E mini futures up 24.50. Um, nice technique and uh, worked very well here. And look, the nine period moving average is over the 14. The MACD strong stochastics at 79.50, and I like over 80%, but it's close. And the on balance volume says there's a little blue line. You can see it moving around there. It says I'm getting a little overboard. I might have to have a little bit of a rest. I've continued the wave count. There's the very same thing here in the 10-minute chart. And let me just do this right here. This is the E-mini future. This is the December contract. So that would have been left side, right side price time match to the bar symmetry of that low. And it got there sooner and went to a B, went to a C, tested the left side lip, and boom, to a D. Then you got that bad news. Shoop, comes down sharply. Holds above the 200 period moving average. There's a 10 minute chart. Look, the green nine period moving average is still, even with all of this going on, it never went pink and never flipped negative, even with this Chapman Wave Roman candle right here. And now we've gone to a leg E. Now we might have a little bit of a digestive phase and we'll see what happens. Oh, I should just check with my, um, with my producer. Uh, did anybody, yeah, am I going to go through this? Uh, yes, yes, yes. I, I'm not, is Kevin around? Maybe uh, he's not here today. Just let me know if Kevin's around. I love have, uh, talking to Kevin, and we'll uh, do that in a moment if he's around. Meantime, back at the ranch, let's do a whole bunch of things here. So this is the futures early in the morning. Uh, this is crude oil up $1.19 at 89.71. There are a number of aspects to this particular market now. If you're looking at like a like a chessboard. <clears throat> I shouldn't say that. I'm not particularly good at chess. Uh, but if you look at it as a chess board, at this particular stage, oh, that should have been to the right. Let me just move this over because you always go to the left side, low, I mean, the lowest low bar to start your buy. There you go. So this is crude oil. So you can see we've already got to a leg D in the weekly chart under the previous peak B that was at about 94. That was in the continuous contract back in 2022. And it plummets down to the 60, 63-ish uh, level. And now it's up at 89.59. Look at the beautiful symmetry of these cup formations. Look at the Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line. It keeps bumping that and then pulling back a little bit. 
we, the monthly chart is starting to improve quite a bit. But within this context, there's nothing wrong in all the technicals in the daily chart. And I have no choice. I'm calling this a B with a big question mark because is this, is this a leg B? That means we still have to make a peak B that's a lower high, then a leg C, and then a lower high that becomes a peak C, and then a higher D, and then we pull back? Because after G in the Chapman Wave methodology, there's no, uh, alter there's no H. So you have to look at this and say, well, if this is a Chapman Wave flat base, unconventional restart right here, we'll come back to the 78 level. Where we could have some really choppy moves, but it's not. This is like a Chapman Wave cup and ladle breakout pattern. Hey, yeah, yeah. And that says that that 94 area could be hit sooner rather than later. Well, okay, that's crude oil. Let's just go through these one at a time. I'll go to the continuous contract of the of the, um, the 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 Dow up 204 at 35. It's so interesting. I, I don't know how long I spent last night, even yesterday, all day, and then last night, and then this morning. Um, and I wanted to buy the. We we are short the Dow from the exact high of August the first. I wanted to buy the three times long. Uh, we are still long a core position. The three times long. Dow, the UDOW from October, we're still along the Dow um, the Diamonds from October plus March of 2020. So as a trade, I was just going to, I was saying, let's buy this as a trade and then we'll just, if we write and we correct, we'll just raise the stock. And then I thought, I just, I didn't like the fact that the market had already rallied quite a bit and anticipated, and then with the uh, with the news that came out, whatever the economic news was, uh, the market pulled back, but I mean, the futures only went uh, down, so that it was still up 15 points. So I, I felt a, a chunk of the move might already be done. If it starts to break this Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, see this expanding, declining cone, too many words, I call it the falling ax, because it looks like he has the handle, he has the ax blade expanding, if this gets taken out, um, then each higher high on the left side, or I should say lower high, of 35,295 on the 5th of September becomes a target. Then the next one is the one on the 31st of August at 35,503. We'll see what happens. The day is young. Anything can happen. And it's still a pink nine-period moving average. Yep, it could flip to green, but it hasn't yet. Uh, the MACD's okay. It's not great. It's just okay. The uh, rel the relative strength is improving a bit, but it's at about 53%, and the stochastics at 53%. On balance, volume is not that great. <clears throat> so I'm watching this askance, saying, all right, you show me, but Friday at 4 o'clock is the close of the weekly chart, and that's going to be important. So let me show you why. Look at the S&P. So the Dow right now, you can see holding quite nicely right over there, the nine period moving average, quite strong over the 14. Now look at the S&P weekly, much better. Look at that. Hardly, I haven't got a single signal to say I've got a, a, a sell in the weekly chart. I've got a sell mode in the daily, um, and it's holding quite nicely. I should go to the E-mini because that's active right now. And you can see the E-mini, that falling axe formation, um, we're testing, we're into the inside track, repellent zone. Does it become a propellant zone by the end of the day? That's going to be important. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman sitting for Tommy O'Brien and the early edition is 914 a.m. Eastern Time. S&P is up 25, Dow Futures is up 200. I'll be back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Hi folks, we're back and Basil Chapman sitting for Tommy O'Brien. Of course, his newsletter is called Rocket Equities and Options Report, but his program here at, at uh, 9 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time is called uh, This is the Market Kickoff. So we're looking at the futures, the S&P. Look, here we are. We're going to this cup formation. It's almost like a rectangle. We can stay here just a little longer, but it says that the big rally to the upside is just now taking a little bit of a pause, and we'll see whether it stalls or whether it continues higher. We've got the market opening in about uh, uh, 13 minutes or so, 12 minutes. Uh, in the meantime, back at the ranch, this is what we're really looking at. I, I wanted to go through this. Look, the volatility index, a gauge of fear, really, market fear has done this dreaded H pattern. What is the dreaded H pattern? I shouldn't have said it until I had everything ready, but I'll do it right now. It's this pattern right here where the price comes down sharply and holds, rallies, goes to a peak A or a B, two peaks higher or one peak higher, then fails and then takes out the left side low. If it takes it out, within two, three bars, if it hasn't gone back into the upside of that low, lowest low, uh, there's a chance it can even double to the downside. Well, in this case, the fixes don't do that qu quite exactly. But look at this. There's this H pattern. It goes to an A and fails. Here's another pattern. goes to an A, and it's pulling back. It's at 13.15 right now, down 33 cents. So it's testing the left side low. And you can see the MACD's uh, deflecting lower, the 9 period moving average. So this is telling me that there's internal strength. That's one of the reasons why I've been looking at this market and saying, there are so many signs that are indicating that the market should be rallying strongly. So I consider this based on other facts that, that we are looking at basically um, a shorter term. And this is why I've been talking about this, and I'll go through it again. Why I'm saying my daily charts, and I'll just go through this one more time. Look, the daily charts are stalling. They're not really they're tanking, so I mean, short, short, term, short term sell modes. The weekly chart has the action that says it should go to a sell signal, but I need to see at least one more close underneath the 14 period moving average, and it's above it right now at 34,575 on the close yesterday. The futures are quite a bit higher. So let me just go to the uh, futures to show you how uh, the pre market is a little different. Pre market shows you this pattern here. Bumping up against the inside track repellent zone, pink, green, narrow 
channel. That's where the price keeps getting repelled. Is this the one that says we're breaking to the upside? We're done with this consolidation. We don't have to have a VIX um, skyrocketing into the 20s for a climactic reversal. This is just an orderly digestive phase. I don't see it quite that way. I don't think it's it's fairly orderly in the daily. Uh, I should say fairly orderly in the weekly thus far because look at the S&P. S&P weekly hasn't even tested over the last three weeks that 14-period moving average, and you'd expect that in an H pattern. Hasn't done it yet. Days young. QQQ. Uh, I should go to the NQ. Let me go to the NQ. That's the current futures contract. Up 90. Now 50,643. Actually, uh, not quite. Look, the Dow's up 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.6 something percent, and the um, NDX 100 is only up 0.59. All right, they're about the same. But a little bit different chart pattern, right up against the green line now. The MACD is quite good. Stochastic's flat at 68, not so great. On balance volumes are rallying. That's okay, not good. And the nine period is nicely over the 14. That gives you some internal strength. And the weekly chart has got the Shapway falling axe formation. Look, yes, a, a smaller one. Talk about the falling axe formation. Someone said, could you show me some examples that have just occurred? So this is one. We own, we own this stock. U UEC, which is Uranium Energy Core. Look, there it is, a little tiny a falling axe formation. Oh, I wanted to show you something. Oh, did I write it down? Don't tell me. I forgot to write down where it is. Um, it was just a perfect, uh, let me see, uh, AXSM? Nope. AXSM is Axum Therapeutics for Central Nervous System, made a peak F. Yesterday, leg F yesterday and it plummeted. That wasn't the one. Oh, did I write down what it was? Oh, the IBKR. There it is. A IBKR. This is the one of the top broker dealer interactive brokers in the uh, 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 at least in the charts that I follow. Look, there's a pattern that I spoke about recently called the Chapman Wave Stalk Leg. So this stalk leg actually is, I usually make it one word. Stalk leg formation. Stalk leg. Okay, stalk leg formation. Uh, it's S T O. Wow, what a, what a, what what what, a, what great spelling I did there. It wasn't stalker. Ah, there it is. I thought it looked wrong. Show me stalk leg formation. You got your leg going up, then it stalls, makes an oval pattern. I drew this in leg oval pattern. Then it makes the neck, and then it comes back down for the beak. And if that beak stalls inside, that's good, inside the oval pattern. If it takes out the left side low, it's a real problem. But what happens after the beak, there's a really strong rally, and then you're on your own. That's the pattern that we're looking at. So this is a perfect example of the Chapman Wave stalk leg formation. A question came in the other day, said, you had mentioned it somewhere, but what exactly is it? It's this pattern, you know, stalk stands on one leg. All right, enough for that. We wanted to do some other things. So the questions came in. Could I look at SLB, which is Slumberger? I did this the other day and said it's holding very nicely. It looked a little better than some of the other ones. The one that I looked at to compare it was to say that Rig had done really well, but this one seems to now be taking over in terms of strength. So this is Slumberger, I believe Canadian company, uh, I believe so, oil service. Uh, leg C in the monthly chart, uh, leg F slash C, I'm going to call it C for now. I'll be wrong if it, if it turns down from here. And uh, in the daily chart, you've got an alternate count. But what's really important is that it pulled back quite sharply yesterday, and now it's getting that back again. So it's at 61.50 two days ago one, two day, yeah, uh, on, the, on Tuesday. It hit... 62.12, uh, and here it is at 61.50. So it's going to have an inside day as it stands right now. But most importantly, what we're looking at is this is acting really well. Now, I can't remember if the person who asked me actually is in this. I think they actually have a position in it. Um, most important about this particular chart is, look, remember the, the pattern we were talking about before? I didn't type this in, but I should have typed it in. And that should have said right here. I always type this in and I always put it in gray. I put Chapman Wave, Cup, and and I make them capitals because it's uh, proprietary. And it's not an official thing. This is the title that I've given it. Cup and Ladle to 
D. That is what I always type in. And uh, I always, as I say, make it gray. And the reason I make it gray is just kind of background. It's just to say, hey, there's a technique. I don't know if it'll work. And I didn't use the low over here. I used the midpoint. I used a particular candle as the midpoint. And it did this cup formation. This is called the Chapman Wave Inside Wedge Target Repellent Line. I usually make it green and I make it dashed. You don't have to do all this stuff. I just do this to make it clear for people looking. And it's gone to a leg C. I'm calling you a C. Look, the MACD in the weekly chart's great. The flat stochastic in the 90% area is absolutely terrific. And on balance volumes is I'm getting a little bit overbought here. And the overbought condition in the in the daily says, look, there's the M-shaped pattern. I'm pulling back a little bit and price has. But the technicals are still very strong. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, this is the uh, uh, market kickoff hour. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back. So the market is open, and we're looking at it in real time. Let's just do this. Here we go. Basil Chapman sitting in for Tommy O'Brien. The nine, uh, the, uh, yep, there it is. <clears throat> You see how we've got this one arch formation, huge arch formation, then another arch formation, and a smaller one right now in the uh, in the Dow chart. This is the live right now. We're up 183. See how it's testing this green nine period. Uh, sorry, this green inside track repellent line right here. You see the way that the pink nine period moving average. I'll show you the pink nine period moving average here. Here we go. Dow, uh, INDU. 
daily chart. Look, there it is. See that pink nine period moving average is still active. It's close to turning green, but it hasn't turned green. It's been close for a, a, quite a few days here. So the day is young. This is going to be a really important session, but Friday's close at 4 o'clock, and my, my uh, subscribers will know uh, about it uh, as a, when I do my weekend overview. But we're going to be talking about this. What happens to all these different charts? Because uh, you can see this is really just a sideways consolidation. Sideways consolidations tend to last a little longer than you would like. And they, they, they make it every day. I've looked at this, the market and said, you know, the market keeps trying to rally. There's so much optimism here. And by the end of the day, it gives back the history for the last three weeks, for um, the last actually week or so. Has been Rallies tend to fail by the end of the day. So we'll see what happens here. So let me go back to the story. And when I do my hour at 10 o'clock, I'm going to do, I got a bunch of requests. One was from Myrna. That's Moderna, a long-term position. I, I'll talk about that. I only got it. Uh, I couldn't do it yesterday because I got it after my my my. I did a, an eight o'clock show because I had to be out for the morning. Okay, so let me just show you a couple of things here. Within the context of patterns, look what we've got here. We've got a peak F arching over in the daily. You remember the cup and ladle? We did the cup. We did the ladle, and then we what did we do? We came back and we tested the breakout level, and then. The nine period held beautifully, and then all of a sudden it turned pink, and you can see how it's starting to move down. You see the MACD deflected low. You see that the stochastic plummeted down to the single to the uh, teens, 12 percent. Look at the unbalanced volume. That doesn't mean to say everything's all over. It just says that there was just too much optimism, and now we're going to see uh, into this period, which will go into about 10. 10 past 10 or 10 20 a.m. this morning what happens after then but there are buyers they keep coming in they keep coming in and I'm calling this for now a peak F in the 10 minute chart I might have to change that because this could be the start of a brand new move it could be F slash B I won't know that because I'm looking at the nine period moving average and everything's holding very well so I just wanted to do that on a short term basis and for my show at 10 o'clock if you're interested in what I'm doing right now I do more of that at 10 o'clock and certainly for my subscribers we do a lot more now there are a couple of things going on here so you see the way I should have got that 120 minute chart out here so this is uh, I haven't notated this, but let me do it right now. So here's the 120-minute chart. Here's your up arrow because I can see it's already moving to higher highs. So I can say I must. I usually start off with a plus sign and upgrade it. So here we go, peak A. Uh, let me just put that softer. Then a B. Uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down. It's got nothing to do with A to B equals C to D. This is great. This is calling each successively higher peak alphabetically in sequence. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, never an A. And on the way down, uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down. And this went to a cell signal yesterday. Not a cell mode, just a cell signal. And we'll see what happens. So that's the um, that shows you the resistance that is there in the 120 minute chart. Now let's do this. Uh, a couple of things that I want you to do in this particular segment right now. Um, and I'll, 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 why is this not working? There it is. And let me go to some of the, the questions. So we did Schlumberger and the question about Schlumberger is, um, is this going to continue higher? Let me put it in, in, in stark terms. I have nothing, to, I. I'm not looking at oil. I'm looking, looking at natural gas. I'm not looking at anything. I'm looking at the chart, and I'm saying the monthly – oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's a down arrow that just came out of the blue. I didn't mean to put that in there. So let me get rid of that. Uh, yeah. Look, the monthly chart, the price is way above the nine period moving average. The nine is way above the 14. The MACD is making this M-shaped formation still very positive. The stochastic is over 80% and 83%, but it isn't flat. It's just right in there quickly, and that sometimes can give it up like it did there, and then you've got that big pullback. On balance volume, the blue line is a little bit overbought. But here, look at this. The stochastic in the weekly chart is flat at 91%. Every book will say it's called overbought over 80% and oversold when it's 20 I say those forget the over part of it. It is very positive at 90%, and if it's flat 
that's even more positive because it's not showing signs of weakening. The um, on balance volume is a little bit overbought. It's getting to an overbought level, but that can keep going a little higher. MACD is fabulous. It's still, look, the histogram, the green line, the distance between the two moving averages, fabulous. Nine period moving average at uh, 58.17. Is that an idea? 58.17. Way above the 56.47, 14 period moving average, both of them still rising. The price is way above everything that we've seen. It's at not all time highs because this thing once upon a time, up. yep, there it is. Well, I should do the notation. Look, this is peak A, B, C, D, E, F, F, whoops, and January of, uh, no, sorry, July of the week of the 31st of July 2014. At 118.78, it tumbles down to. 18 was it? Comes down to $11 and $11.80. I'd call that a bit of a pullback. $11.87. So this is just, it's not even recovering halfway to what it was. So it's at, eight, at 61, right? So this so far is very positive. So looking out, uh, and then uh, someone else had in the den, um, Sambajay, both, uh, both, he's in both stocks and options, one of my largest positions. Uh, congratulations, Zip. That's really nice. So in the Chad Wave Cup and Ladle, this is at C. It should still go to D, but it should at some point test this high right here on the in January, the week of the 20th of this year, 59.45. That's only two points away. It should test that, but it should make a D. And in the daily chart, it's getting a little bit, a little choppy in its move up, but it's still persistent in making higher highs and higher lows. MACD is just okay. It's positive. The stochastic's fabulous at 88%. On balance volume is a little bit overbought. So I like it, but it's getting into a range that I think is starting to show, show some wear and tear uh, in the 62 to maybe 63 and a half area. So we're within about a point away. If you're looking at this as part of money management, and the question is, what do I do right now? I say, there's no harm right at this moment. Take a little bit off. If you've got options, particularly if you've got an option, just take one option off just so that you part is part of money management. That's what we've done with our positions so that when we get to the high that is actually the high, uh, we don't have the full position. It's exactly the opposite that you might want to do as a personal player. But I have a newsletter. I can't have somebody suddenly coming in, say at UEC, uh, Uranium Core, and say, oh, what's he talking about? This is fantastic. I'm doubling up my position. It's now he's in at 364, uh, and it's at 527. What a huge gain. I'm going to double it. No, this is where I get a little bit cautious. But you want your core position. I'll be right. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should 
should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. Folks, we're back. Uh, Basil Tapper here, sitting here for Tommy O'Brien and Market Kickoff. We're looking at. I, I, I mentioned the other day. I had a question about what U U U U. That's Energy Fuels Inc. Uranium. Um, what did I think of it? Did I prefer to the U E C that I discussed? Uh, I say, well, we are long U E C. I think U U U U is lagging. And then about three days or four days ago, I said, I think U U U U is going to try to play catch up. And we can see in spectacular movement today, it's up 0.08 at 7.93. A few days ago, it was 7.36. So this is in leg D in the weekly chart. I'm calling this an alternate account. G stash C basically it looks like a C, but I, I've just got the alternate account because the on-bounce form is extremely overbought, and I think it could pull back and then have one quick D. And then I think the uranium stocks start to take a breather with maybe crude oil in the next couple of days. We'll see. So that, that's that. Next question came in CVNA. Now, I can't remember what the question was, but I'll just show you the chart. Uh, CVNA, that's Carvana. Uh, when I first saw this, and the, it, it looked like a a vending machine, <laughs> a vending with automobiles. I thought, that is incredible. That's where we've come to. Anyway, I like the pattern. It's walking the nine-period exponential moving average. It's making this cup formation. I, I am going to put this into a buy mode in the daily because the stochastic's at 80%. The MACD's okay. Relative strength is uh, improving. It's not great. It's about 55%, 54%. But the cup formation has had such determination in making higher highs and higher lows that I believe it will go to a D. Now, I do things in a, set, in a very conservative way before I do it aggressively. And this is the first conservative way that says this area on the left side of 53.31 back in the beginning of August. We did break that, but we didn't close above it. And that was on the 12th, a few days ago. It went to 53.77. So my anticipation is it's going to go to a D. But if I draw the chat wave inside, inside wedge, target resistance line, it it should come in somewhere over here. And I can then go to the upper side and say this area here of 55, I'll give you the exact number in a moment. Um, now I, I have to, I have no choice because we've gone higher. I have to move the plumb line, not from the low that was made, but from this little arch right here. And I can go to the right and it says to me, somewhere in the next few days, there should be a rally that takes you to the resistance of 54.56. I'm wrong if it has to be really quickly by Monday at 2 o'clock, if it is closed underneath yesterday's low of 51.13, it goes into a sideways pattern, and then you can actually start looking at it as an arch. Right now, I'm not. I'm looking at it as a cup formation. And that's the way. So 
I'm not sure what the question was I because I just grabbed the, the symbol. Another one was MasterCard. Isn't this fascinating? I spoke about this the other day. Look, MasterCard was going to go to a D. There's a Chapway falling axe formation. And what does it do? It spikes above. It goes to a D. And today, I don't know when earnings come out, but it's pulled back sharply from the high, but not sharply in price. It's down 371, but it's a $412 stock. So, and you've gone G slash C to a D. That's exactly what I was talking about in the previous chart. So there's your D right there. Master gone. But I was saying, isn't it incredible when I was showing subscribers, I said, I can choose three stocks in every category, and maybe one or two are fabulous, but one is horrible, or two are horrible, and one is fabulous. So look at this. He has MasterCard. He has Visa. I have an update. It went to a peak F spike yesterday and a big move down today. I wonder if that's interest rates or whatever it is. Okay, and look at this, American Express. Look how these are at all-time highs or just about all-time highs within points. Look at American Express. Uh, that's X. This is AXP. Here we go. American Express. Look at this. From the 170s down to 160 right now, but it was in the 150s. A completely different pattern altogether. So, yeah. So, I'm not sure what MA. Uh, yes, down six. It's down sharply. Apple. Uh, Apple right now. This has got the dreaded H pattern. But it's getting to the 196 to the 170. 0.88 200 period moving average that's the left side low and the 200 I think this is going to be really important for Apple if Apple holds very well then by where, by Friday this tomorrow a week it should be trading in the gap or higher and that will put it in the 183 area if something happens and Apple's just not doing very well and Apple starts to trade not just test but trade in the 169 or lower area we are looking at is right now it's at 175. We're looking at something that's going to impact a number of the indices because it's in the Dow, it's in the S and P, it's in the QQQ, it's uh, it's in the uh, the um, XLK, it's in the IGV, it's in all these different sectors. So that's going to be very important. Another question came in. I'll do some of them in my show coming up at 10 o'clock. I want you to do these now because it was um, GSM, GSM is trading at yeah nice spike to the upside this is exactly like Kawana. this is the same pattern with a cup formation attempting to get to the left side high look at that like that there it went to a b and there's no other way i can count it because there's there's never a d and this just says there's a residual strength in ferroglobe plc specialty metals trading at 563 gsm is a symbol up 18 cents up 3.31 and it's trying to get to C, and then it'll get to a D, and it'll be an E in the weekly chart, and then it comes back into the consolidation range. Next question. Oh, I didn't do those. I'll do them. Okay. Uh, oh, there was this whole thing I missed yesterday on Discord. I, I, okay, thanks, Bill. Lots of Okay. Oh, GDX. So GDX is the gold miners. Now, this is going to be interesting. Look, GDX is up it's up 45 cents at 29.17 it's and the pink nine period moving average just flipped to green so here we go it's a pattern that i was describing just now that h pattern well the h pattern very often turns into a lowercase m and all that i'm looking at here is that there's gold miners and i said this before with the dollar doing so well Gold is acting not bad. It's not great, but it's really not acting as badly as it should. Um, and the GDX is a really good example of this. Holding, it's up 44 cents at 29.16. The MACD's, the nine flipped to positive. The day's younger. They could flip back again. The MACD's good. The stochastic's not really good at 42%. On balance volume is very weak. If I put it together with SLV, which is the silver chart, look at that peak D, Eiffel Tower, straight up and straight down. So that's, and, and I changed, now I have to change this cup formation in the weekly chart and say, you know what? It's got the dreaded H pattern, which goes to a lowercase a. You see, this is the pat, this is what I, I say all the time. It's so fascinating when you do chart work, and you can have charts that are so similar, but in absolutely diverse uh, areas. You know, look, what's this H pattern going to an M pattern got to do with 
and I could name you a, a, a half a dozen stocks. And yet, look at it. It's there. It's a viable pattern. It says, if I, this is the uh, SLV, iShares Silver Trust, if I take out decisively this left side low of 21.45, I'm looking at the next level of the gap down to the 19 area. Then I'm looking at 18s. So this is really important for silver. There's a big divergence. Let me see what silver itself is doing. Silver is down 40 cents. Oh. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So I'm just putting this in here. Left side, right side, price, time match. That's boss symmetry. Let's just see if the 45.30 level gets hit in the next uh, 10 minutes. All right, let's get back to this. So in my show coming up, my usual show, the Tiger Conditions Hour, we'll be looking at natural gas. Uh, let me just make a note here. Natural gas. Uh, Myrna, that's Moderna, for a very long-term position. We'll be looking at um, Microsoft. Let me just put that down here. Microsoft. Um, yeah, then I want you to do some of the currencies and the currency, the, the um, uh, currency pairs, and I want you to do some of the grains. So it's going to be very interesting because this is part of the panoply of things that we're looking at right now. So the NG right now, that's up uh, a little bit, up 11 ticks, 11 cents at 2.79. But this is what I really wanted to talk about. In the market today, if after 2 o'clock, and the Dow is up 180. If after 2 o'clock, the Dow is holding very nicely at plus 80, then there's a chance that um, the, the residual strength that's there, that's trying to pierce this resistance level, is able, by Friday's close, 
to change this market perception that I'm looking at right now that says if there's a very weak close today and a very weak close tomorrow, there's a chance that finally I get a sell signal in the weekly. We haven't got that yet. And I will also look at, I didn't I do IWM? I thought I did IWM. IWM is the Russell 2000. And as we're going out, it's had a nice pop to the upside, given it back as it's done almost every single day. It is really looking weak. And if we're looking at the short side of the market coming up next week, then maybe it's a big test to say is the weakest of them all, the IWM, the Russell uh, 2000 small caps, does that really tank and go almost one to one to the downside, uh, down to the 176s? Or is this going to be a clue that in this phase of the market, suddenly the small caps find favor? Right now, it doesn't look like it. So I, I um, oh, you're on TZA, TZA is right now. This is TZA, is the, uh, oops. That uh, is a uh, bear. This, uh, this is the bear, right. So the bear, look, peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. And now it's trying for a retest. If it gets, if the T T Z A gets to 29.04, that 29.36, 200 period moving average becomes a magnet. I'll be back in the, for the next hour. Bowser Chap from Stepping Side. We'll do the news in a moment. I'll be back. And it's going to be very important. What happens between 10, 20, and 11? I'll be back.